Page 20, from pole to pole. The idea is with two famous composers, Chopin and Paderewski, and they were both Polish. So the first melody you're getting in here is a, from a waltz by Chopin, and then over on page 21, starting with the second line, you get a minuet by Paderewski. Both of these pieces are very famous. You can find recordings of these pieces. So let's talk about it a little bit. Just going to start with the right hand at the beginning. Watch the fingering. It's, now first off, this is in the key of G major. Again, it's got one sharp. So it's one, and then it's two on the F sharp. And then in the next measure, it's two on the G. You got to reach up a little more. And then in the third measure, it's third. And then over to 2 4 here. Well, the last note in each measure is a staccato. So it, that helps. Now don't accent the staccato. That's what a lot of people will do. Uh uh. The accent goes on the first, it's a natural accent, the first beat of the measure. And then there's an, a real accent on the half note. And then coming down, second line, just follow their fingering. Third line's the same as the first, the fourth line's the same as the second except for the last measure here. And then the t first line on page 21 is just a bridge, what we call a bridge. It's uh, a few measures that connect these two things together. They bridge them together. And that's their sole purpose. It's no big deal. Just a lot of D's going on there. And then in the second line, we start the Paderewski minuet. And again, the, the staccato is very, very important here. So it's here. And we have the triplets. One, two, three, and a one, two. Third line on page 21, that's a thumb on the half note. So at the end of the second line on the triplets, you're coming off. Get the thumb on the half note. And there's no staccato here. And you're getting a little louder because this is it. This is the note. That's the climax, like the climax of the piece. And then we start coming down. There's actually a retardando there and it's you kind of slow down just for a little bit. And then you start in. You see on the fourth line down the off tempo, MF off tempo. MF is how loud? That's medium loud. Off tempo means resume your tempo again because you just slowed down. On the measure before, one, two, three, one, two, three, and off tempo means go again. One, two, three, and we're back to the staccatos. Tardondo at the end where you slow down. The last note, you can play with the third finger if you want. You don't have to play with the thumb. Third finger's fine. I mean it's the end of the piece, you're done. Why? It's up to you. For the left hand, it's just accompanying all this. At the beginning here, you have the broken chords. It's a big deal. Second line, you're down here, coming up. Follow their fingering, etc. Over on page 21, you're starting with a 2 1 at the first line, a 3 1, and then a 4 2. As, try and connect the bottom note if you can. And then watch the staccatos in the left hand. It's two staccatos and a regular. with the right hand. And until you get to the second line when it's legato and the, the pedal will help make a legato but still you make a legato with the hands. Now third measure, the third line, watch the fingering. It's a four. And the reason is because you got to come way up to the G on the next note. So the third line is this way on the left hand.
word as long as you're aware it's there and you can prepare for you. This is one of the things that makes sight reading so hard because you don't see these things coming up and then your hands are in the wrong spot. Going on, fourth line, it's just, just it's all legato in the left hand. And the last two measures, pedal will help you out, it's here, 2-1, 2-1, 3-1. Come all the way down to the G. The pedal will connect the sound for you. And that's it really. I mean, uh, as far as the dynamics go, follow the dynamics because they really add a lot. You're starting out soft and you're just gradually getting loud to the last measure. Don't get loud too soon. Plan it out. It's like the first measure is soft. The next measure can be medium soft. Next measure is medium loud. And then you're loud. And then going on, you're loud to start with, and then medium loud, the medium soft, and then back down to almost soft and get to soft. And when you get over to page 21, you're starting out kind of a medium loud, whatever that is, and the second line, or the third line on page 21, now you're going to build up to this. Now we take off again. And then after you got all that learned and you can do that okay, then you go back and you add the pedal. Well the pedal is pretty simple on this piece. You don't have any pedaling on page 20. There's a little bit of pedaling on the first line, actually it's the whole line on page 21. It's all legato pedal. That's fine. And then the third line and the last line, there's a little bit. So just follow their pedaling like they're showing you. I think it'll be fine. So let's try this out very slowly. Now, cone anima at the beginning means with animation. It's, it's this kind of a happy, fun thing. Both of these are. You'll find recordings where some people play them at a nice speed and other people play them lickety split. They're going so fast you can't believe it. There's, there's a lot of difference of opinions on how fast these things go. So you have to decide for you what is it comfortable? What do you like it to be? So the right hand is here. Left hand's here. Foot's on the pedal. Here we go. I give us three counts. It's in three, four time. One, ready, go.